when the rumor gets close enough, it's gonna sense the human and it's gonna explode. And it did nothing. Welcome to a mistake. The guy on the left here is called Gary and he, yep, he's a bit mental as you can see. He's also very much unstable and he's an AI. He's completely artificial, which is why he looks kind of strange and which is why I've strapped him down to the to the ground here because he just goes around shooting people and I, I've no clue why he does it. He just likes doing it. This is Bob as well. <laughs> Another, you know, a safety measure here with a, with a bulletproof shield and whatnot. And uh, the strange thing about this Bob is, well, he's got eyes looking at you, okay? He's looking at you doing all your weird stuff. And, um, I just put him to the test, you know, see, look, look at Gary go. He just fires bullets left and right. He doesn't even care. <laughs> so yes, I've downloaded a mod that adds AI to the game. Looks like this. There's a bunch of different ones. This is a normal one, okay? He's called a common human. He's not supposed to attack NPCs or bobs, but he does. So what happens if we spawn a uh, NPC here that is kind of mad then, huh? One of them NPCs that would actually, you know, shoot other NPCs. Oh God, you're you're both pushing them. Oh my God. <laughs> what the hell happened? What? What? A um, Gary's gone. G Gary's no more. And this Joe guy is just. Uh oh. Okay. Well, good thing Bob over here has a shield on him because otherwise that would not end well. Let's reset things. Here we have Peter, William, Ash, and Tom. They're all NPCs that are furious with each other. Let's see who can win in a flat out fight. Uh, Ash is thinking about brains. B Tom is already shooting people. Peter is shooting a wall. Uh, William is just walking away like, see you later. And um, there's something happening between these two and no more. Okay, so I think Peter, yeah, Tom's gone. Okay, what about William? Okay, so Peter won. Goes to show that the tallest one is always gonna win. <laughs> now, as you can probably tell, these NPCs, they have a little bit of a funky way of moving about. They aren't exactly as fluid as your regular human like this one. Oh God, oh, sorry. Because I can take him and I can wobble him about like this and he's gonna scream at some point or then he's not. But yeah, as you can see, he's a little bit more floppy. Um, That doesn't mean that I don't think this guy is experimentable. And by that, I mean, you can experiment on him. So let's put that to the test. Let's grab your regular good old knife and say hello to Kenneth and goodbye. Uh-huh. Oh my God. Okay, so right. They don't have the best of collisions apparently. So I can't hurt them like this. And they're just gonna fall over like, like from Doom from 1990 or whatever. What, what year are we living in anyway? We're gonna take the NPCs and we're gonna put them up to a serious test at the end of the video. I've got something crazy in store. But before that, boom, a Claymore Roomba. Okay, when I saw this, I was like, yeah, I gotta try this out. It's a, it's just a Roomba going about cleaning everybody's business and then it explodes if it gets too close to a human, like this one. He's unaware of what's gonna happen and we're just gonna, we're just gonna see, okay? So supposedly when the Roomba gets close enough, it's gonna sense the human and it's gonna explode and it did nothing. Great, that is super strange. Why didn't it do anything? It's clearly a claymore over here. Um, maybe, maybe, oh, I know. We clearly need to make this more in favor of the Roomba, which is why I've strapped Bob to a table with his face right next to the firing line, okay? If this doesn't end Bob, I don't know what well. Okay, Roomba, off you go. <sighs> the table broke, of course it did. There you go, okay, so now, we should have a little bit of a different outcome and it shouldn't just explode. Please work. Yeet. What the crap, man? What? It did hurt Bob, that's a concussion. So I'm wondering, does it even work? Like does it actually do, like does it do a lot of damage? How do I, how do I activate this thing? How can I make it like just, just, just... okay. I, uh, I completely forgot. I might have the infinite regrowth mod on. So that's why Bob here doesn't feel any pain. He's completely immortal. Well, he duplicates body parts when, when you know, something happens. Um, so he's kind of okay. His lower part is rotten, but um, 
other than that, he's okay. The Roomba, pretty trash, not gonna lie. It doesn't do a whole lot. It just, it just, oh, well, if you put it like point blank to his face, it's gonna do a whole lot. And Bob is back <laughs> and alive. <laughs> I can't believe it. It's amazing. I think I'm about to make the biggest mistake of my life. This is an orbital cannon. And that's Bob right beneath it. So this thing, okay, it's pretty mental. But we're going to try it out anyway. If I press I, it will activate the satellite. And it'll look like that. Look at that. It's, is that? Oh, oh, it did the thing. That's pretty cool. All right. Now, what does, what is, um, oh, I can, I can put it back, I think. Um, you to remove the panels. Oh, I thought it was actually just gonna boom, flip them off, but it, it, it didn't do that. Okay, so put it back out. And then, what does O do? No, 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 sorry, Bob. Sorry, I'm terribly sorry. <laughs> I didn't know, I didn't know I could disable the satellite. Like, it's not, it's not flying anymore. Take two then. So we've got one more button to press, and that is P for kaboom, I guess. Oh, it opens. Oh, a little penis comes out. Oh, that's not, that's not, oh my crust. What the hell? That obliterated Bob. It's, it's gone. What? So can I shoot it multiple times? Oh, yes, I can. I can just press P again, and it's going to shoot, and kaboom. <laughs> oh, I want to try this against an AI, see if it's smart enough to get away from it. We're going to spawn in an AI. And we're going to press the button at the same time and see if the AI is smart enough to get away. Here we go. Oh, come on. Come on, Joshua. You've got one. That's not a good time to start shooting with your gun, man. It's just not going to work. Also, Joshua is completely... Like, oh, there he is. <laughs> Hello, Joshua. Hi. How are you doing? Uh, you, see, you seem to be a little bit... Yeah. Okay. I might have um, taken some screws out from my orbital satellite because all the bits are floating away. Which is okay, because over here we've got Bob and he's protected by one, two, three, four, five, five, nine pieces of military grade armor shielding, whatever this is. So, without further ado, let's see if it can penetrate through it. Oh. Oh. Bob is totally fine. <gasps> Does it, does it go through? Okay, so what if we delete like th this many? Okay, does that work? Is Bob dead or is he alive? Oh! Okay, what about one? Is one of these enough to shield Bob from an orbital satellite kaboom? Sure is. I can't believe that's true. Okay. I realize this might be a, be, a, be a really dumb mistake, but I'm gonna have to try it anyway. So it's really close to Bob's face. And if this doesn't kill him, he's immortal. Okay, he, he, might, he might feel a little bit pain. I think. Oh, looks like it hurt a little bit. Ow, ow, ow. So Fudgy and I played around in a absolutely safe house or whatever it's called. This is an absolutely safe mansion. <laughs> Please don't touch car. Okay. Well, what if I, what if I just, <laughs> what, oh, where's that? I can open the, oh, I broke it. Don't make any noise. It will wake up Herbert. I don't know who Herbert is, but I'm not scared. The only thing I'm slightly concerned about is the fact that the house is actually an island and I need to get here somehow, which is why I've got a boat. <laughs> it's an actual boat, look at this. No, not walk, okay, stop now, crap, son of a, no, he's drowning. No, I didn't mean to do it. Okay, stop, 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 stop. Wait, he's holding his breath? He's fine. He's totally fine. Let's just put another one in here and sit. There you go. I do feel like I need to test this a little bit further, which is why I've attached his face to a one ton weight and we're gonna see if he can survive in a bit. I'll be back soon. Now, how do we make you go to the house then? We could use a normal engine like this and just make it safely across. Or we can use a jet engine, which I think sounds much more fun with, uh, oh God, is it gonna float? It is gonna float. Okay, here we go. I don't know how this is gonna work at all. So we're just gonna, oh God, no, okay. That, <laughs> maybe we'll just use the boat engine then. There we go, we made it safely across. Okay, uh, what is that? Private property, no entry. Well, you can suck it. Just walk, all right? Walk up this hill, and it's it's not gonna be anything deadly at all. I'm sure of that. Oh. I, I don't know don't know what happened, but Bob just went missing. Uh, oh, I heard him. Oh, there he is. He landed in the tree. <laughs> okay, we need another Bob. Hey there, Bob. Okay, if you could just walk. Let's see. Okay. No, and he's gone again. All right, so let's just skip part the first little bit here that apparently just shoots him up into the air. So let's make you walk here then. And there's something in the tree here. I'm not really sure what it... 
Okay, that's what it is. It's death trap. Okay, well, let's just say we got past that bit, okay? Surely they there can't be anything too deadly anymore. What, what was that? Oh, 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 there's a bunch of sensors here. <laughs> I don't know what this is. Bob, are you okay? Bob, Bob is still fine. He can still wake up and make this. Bob, hello. We're going to give him a little bit of a helping hand. It's called a life syringe. There you go. Oh, he's back. Oh, no. It's fine, fine, fine. Just walk up the stairs. It's no big deal. It's just a shotgun. <laughs> no. Oh, come on. Oh, okay. It just freak. That's his head gone. I've had an epiphany. Why don't I use... The AI named Charles. How suiting. Oh, no, he's going the wrong way. Okay, he's just he's just shooting the gate, apparently, for some reason. Charles? Okay, there you go. Walk up the stairs. He can't walk up the stairs. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to help him a little bit. There you go. And in you go. I've infiltrated the house. And Charles can't walk under doorways. But maybe Amanda can. Amanda can. Yes, she can. Look at that. Okay, so she's exploring the whole house now. Is there anything in here that... There's nothing deadly here at all. This AI proves it, okay? So there should be no problem for a human to get in here. Oh, Amanda, goodbye. Okay. Oh, no. There's a, there's a lamp there. That, oh, my... Oh, Christ. Okay, you're regrowing, though. You're regrowing. It's all good. You're going to be fine. You're going to be... Oh, stop. Amanda's shooting him. No. <laughs> No, no, good. Okay, regrow, regrow. It's all good. You can do it. There you go. Yeah, head, like limb by limb. There you go. Okay, welcome back, Bob. Whew, that was close. Amanda, don't you, don't you dare. If you pull out that gun, I'm going to pull out my delete button. Don't do it. Oh my God. Okay. Oh, Bob is, Bob's gone. That's, that's not good. Not even super buffed humans is able to get through this. Let's say we made it past the first shotgun. Amanda. Let's put a healer belt on you. Maybe that'll help, okay? I will heal you to my utmost powers, okay? Now, Bob, get up. Oh, my God! There's a shotgun. No! Oh! <laughs> Shotguns everywhere. <laughs> Bob, welcome back. No, no, no. Okay, get up and go towards the front. I'll help you a little bit. There you go. Okay, if you could just regrow your limbs, that'll be great. Because I need a little bit more than just your lower body. But I think I think you could walk with this, to be honest. So, uh, okay. So we've gotten past the two shotguns here that just obliterate you Im immediately. Let's make you... Let, okay, so let's get to the car. Oh. <laughs> of course, there's like electric water. <laughs> Why wouldn't there be? Oh, and he's... <laughs> Oh my god! This house is in, in, uh, It's unbelievable. Okay, let's just assume we got past that. A lot of assumptions here, but it's okay though. Okay, past the door. What is that? Are those sticky grenades? Please, please be gentle. Please, please be. Oh, he's back! He made it! Oh no, what is that? Oh, there's a laser. Of course. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, look! Bob is. Oh, he's coming back! Bob is coming back! He's back! He made it! Okay, walk, walk. There you go. Oh, we made it to the car. Hallelujah. It's, oh God, there's an explosion happening for some reason. Okay, just get up, steal the car. You can do it. I'll help you a little bit, man. There you go. I'm just gonna take the fire out because that is an unfair advantage for, for the enemy team. Okay, if you can stop burning, that'll be great. Just stop burning. Stop, stop burning. Oh my God. Oh, there's an explosion. Okay, you need to get the hell out of here. Of course, oh, there's stuff happening to the right. Of course there is. Okay, uh, fire extinguisher. There you go. Stop everything from burning, please. Okay, there we go. Oh, perfect, perfect, perfect. Ah. All right, let's say after all that, after all that pain, we actually made it to the car. Let's steal it. Touch the car a little bit. There you go. Um, nothing's happening. Okay, can we just drive the car away? Like, can we just... Uh-oh. No. There's, there's more sticky grenades. This is not good. All right, let's say after all that, after all that misfortune, we're actually able to get out. Freedom, baby. Here we go. Car's gonna... Okay. We need to get rid of the f the, the feet are in the, in the way here. There's there's two of them. There you go. Lo oh, okay. No, no. Straight into the um to the gate. <laughs> there's only one way we can get out of this, really. I'm so sorry, but it has to be done. <laughs> 